so Pakistani mob kidnaps man accused of blasphemy from the police and lynches him. On February 11th, an angry mob in Pakistan attacked a man at a police station in Punjab province and lynched him. The man was identified as Waris Ali Isa. Waris was imprisoned for reportedly desecrating pages of the Quran, the Islamic holy book. The angry mob, composed of hundreds of Muslims, accused him of witchcraft and charged into the Warburton police station where Waris was in custody. Some protesters used a wooden ladder to climb a wall and then open the gate for the mob. According to a senior police officer, by the time police reinforcement could reach the scene, the mob had lynched the man and was about to burn his body. But the police foiled their attempt with the help of some more rational people in the area. Um, the senior police also noted that worries had been uh, previously arrested for a similar blasphemy charge in 2019, found innocent, and released from prison in mid-2022. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif condemned the lynching and demanded that the chief of Punjab police take action against the officers who failed to protect Waris when he was in custody. Wow. What did he do exactly? Do we know? So I have read in some reports that he allegedly was like putting like gluing photos of himself and his family inside the Quran of all things. This was mm. the allegation that he was using the Quran as a scrapbook, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, that that's what I read in, in some reports. So, so the the mob tried to lynch him. The police come came and got him so that he was saved. And they managed to then go to the police station and get him out of the police station and lynch him there. They, they, so even yeah, being they, even being arrested, like it used to be in Pakistan, that you wanted to be arrested so you get saved from the mob. But apparently now that's not even enough. Like even if even if you're being held by police, the mob can still come and kill you that's still that's still this isn't even the first time that this has happened yeah this yeah. isn't even the first time that this has happened a few years ago either last year or the year before we covered a story where there was a mob in pakistan that tried to lynch a man who was mentally disabled for accusations of blasphemy the, a mentally disabled man they tried to kidnap him from the police and lynch him in my room i'm not sure if my memory is correct but i believe they managed to take the man out of that location like right before the mob got there to go get them if my memory is correct with that incident they didn't actually end up killing that man but that's how extreme things are this isn't the first time that this has happened obviously the the most the case that got the most international recognition happened in December of 2021 and it was when a Sri Lankan Buddhist man who was a manager at a factory i believe his name was Priyantha Kumar was lynched by his own factory workers because he allegedly took off a poster or a sticker that had the name Muhammad on it because he needed to clean up the factory for an inspection. And merely taking off that sticker, which some say was pr promoting the Islamist party, the TLP, and just happened to have the name of Muhammad on it, just taking that off was enough to lynch him in the middle of the street, set his body on fire, and then they would throw their shoes into the fire of his body to keep it burning longer. But that got a lot more international recognition because that was a foreign national who was murdered in this way. And so that got a really big reaction. And unfortunately, this situation, it's its very sick. It's just like, oh, it's just another Pakistani. Like, who cares? So... That's the um, attitude. I'm not saying that that's my attitude. Yeah. So we got a super chat by uh, Newman saying, sorry, Susanna. I don't know for what, but. Newman, thank you very much for the super chat. You have nothing to apologize for. 
Okay. Nothing at all. And I'm very, I'm really happy that you're here with us today. So Thank I'm glad to see you yeah. here. Uh, guys, don't donate to us unless you have a lot of excess money, okay? But thank you for the support. Uh, Sasan is saying, why didn't the police protect them? I was going to answer that, but Gossam already answered it for us, saying the police need, some, <laughs> the police need someone to protect, the, uh, protect itself. Yeah, because the mob overwhelms them. The mob, the they angry mob. They didn't have mob enough reinforcement. It sounded like, but then there was also a situation where it's like, okay, maybe they needed more reinforcement. But then, how were they even allowed to get to the point where they were like scaling the walls of the police station and then like able to let more people in? Like there was clearly some negligence, severe negligence present in this case. I believe there are a number of officers that have been arrested. Um, or suspended, excuse me. I think a few officers have been suspended. The prime minister or some other higher ups ordered um, a investigation. And uh, I also read that there have been 50 people that have been arrested in, uh, in this murder so far. And um, that also uh, many, there are many of those 50 that have been arrested so far are members of the TLP, which is mm. the for those who don't know the tlp is the uh, one one of many islamist parties in pakistan but it's one that um the blasphemy issue is the central issue of the tlp um pakistani uh, patriot force who usually defends pakistan is now saying um i hate living in pakistan oh, so buddy. Things things are getting to a point where even this guy who always comes here and defends pakistan is now like hating on living there by the way look at what it's saying in that tweet saying that uh, this guy arsan khan uh, saying another mob lynching over alleged blasphemy in pakistan unbearable to watch the video we're not going to show you the videos guys oh my but, god like, never is it was really horrible and it's saying which even includes children. Yeah, I saw Harris showing that that is horrible. Children were kicking and beating a dead man. Guys, the videos of this lynching includes children. The dead body was being also kicked around by to, by children. Imagine the mindset that these kids are going to be growing up with. And it says the police ran away to save themselves. Jesus Christ. Wait, there was another tweet in this article that I think I wanted to highlight. Can you scroll down a little bit? Oh, yeah. This one? Yeah. So um, yet another case of mob lynching in Pakistan over alleged insult of Islam. A man was first handed over to police amid street sloganeering of Sharia punishment. Then a mob broke into the police station and killed him. And I think there was another one. If you scroll down a little bit further. Here we go. Um, Ashok Swain tweeted in Nankana Sahib, Pakistan, an extremist mob lynched a man over alleged desecration of the Quran. Another example of rising religious extremism in Pakistan. Thankfully, the regime suspended two cops and any minister is yet to garland the lynching mob. So this is some very dark humor. So the person is saying, oh, good job. They suspended two cops and we don't have any governors that have been showering the killers with garlands and flowers so far. Like that's his idea of good news is that there's no government officials out here praising these murderers because we have seen that happen many, many times in the past. Should I should I play one of these videos because D is D is the one who included these videos and she's saying none of them includes any of the violence that we can't show. Oh, this one, this video we could show. Yeah, could well, I, I trust D is our lovely editor. She does such a good job. Everyone in the chat say thank you, D. I trust D's judgment. I, we can right. Come on, Eggman, Eggman. You can hear, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the police guard. Wow, look at this. Oh, there's the ladder. There's the ladder. Look at this. Yeah, and then so they just go over and then they let people in through the gate. So how did the police even let that happen to begin with? Because then once everyone's inside, they're going to need a ton of reinforcement. Oh my God, look at the doors open. Ah, everyone's 
These are these are people are thirsty for blood. Look at this. Oh my god, I would be scared to be a police. Honestly, if I was the police, I would be like, I'm not paid enough for this. I would be out of there. Look at the mob. They're so like, yeah, you need a you don't need the police. You need an army to stop this. Yeah, failed state coming up. Damn. Nuclear oh, crunch. Hara Sultan is here. Hi, Hara. Oh. He's saying they are chanting what the TLP popularized. And the speaker is saying, don't go there. They already arrested him. Meanwhile, oh. Pakistan Patriot Force is like having a, he's like having a come to Jesus moment right now. And he's drunk. Yeah. Susanna, basically there's more liberals in Pakistan than ever before, but a section of society that is also becoming more extreme and then he goes Haris Baha you are right I hate living here <laughs> oh buddy oh buddy <laughs> Pakistan okay. Patriot Force I know we have had some run-ins in the past a lot of disagreements okay but we atheist republic we're very compassionate people and we want you to be okay okay so like mm -hmm. please take care of yourself we have a big community I don't know maybe join our discord and link is in the description if you want to go vent or something um but yeah 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 well harris is saying yesterday you were saying that you you ran away from pakistan i still i still live here well well it's good it's good to, for us to be forgiving you know it's okay harris let's just accept um pakistan a change of mind here it's not a, it's 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 and and he's he seems very young so i don't know but uh, there was a question by sasan here i wanted us to answer this how, how how do you answer this one i have one word for this i have one um, word answer sasan john is asking how do people get like this i need to know to sleep at night okay um religion that's it's it, that's but it's it. not okay frankly that's a big part of it but that's not the only answer like it's religion and a lack of alternatives it's a religion and a lack of viable alternatives of ideas that are presented to you in your environment and yes. it's also poverty and tribalism oh look at this oh newman is saying susanna thanks i'm going to get help because of you okay thanks oh good 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 newman this is what i like to see this is what i like to see that's right. Good job, kids. I'm oh, proud okay. of you. It's not. It's not easy to get help, so I'm. I'm really proud. Me of and you. Harris were uh, talking on the Secular Jihadist show. Um, mm -hmm. Harris Sultan. We were talking about what we think is going to happen to uh, the future of Pakistan. What it's going to yes, be like. Yes, yeah. I was watching the show, and I was loving your Pakistan analysis that you just did in the last episode. I was yeah. loving it yes yes i was like this is what i like to see okay sorry continue no but like m both of us i mean he knows a lot more than i do but um it, it doesn't seem bright i mean it's just like we're desperate to see any any shifts in pakistan right now but every time we mm. look every week when we look at pakistan again the situation seems to get, be getting worse and worse and worse so yeah so i don't know it's rough yeah um yeah, and it, it doesn't help, you know, in other countries where the government is a problem and the people are moving in the right direction, even though, like in, for example, in Iran, the government is a problem, but the people are becoming more secular and more liberal. So even though you're you're not very optimistic about what the situations are right now, you could see a bright future because at the end of the day, given enough time, the governments will reflect the will of the people. With Pakistan, you don't have that optimism about the future. Because no matter how much how much how much you want to play musical chair with the people who are in power, at the end of the day, the problem comes from the people itself, you mm -hmm. know. And the, the culture and the mentality is so it's so backwards there that it's it's such a more fundamental problem from from the core, from the bottom up. So a change in government, um, it's not gonna fix that. You need to go to in and, fact, it might and, make things worse because people will have a stark reaction in, into the, in the difference of the attitudes of the government versus themselves. Yeah, and changing the mentality of the people from the bottom up, this is not something you could do in one or two uh, generations. This is going to take ages. 
and it's and it's heavily moving in the wrong direction so i am i am scared i am scared for pakistan and also by the way if you if you're an indian and you're celebrating the downfall of pakistan you have no oh, idea God. no no you have no idea you know every indian person that it, that cares for india should be w wishing like wanting the stability of pakistan you guys should indian oh, <laughs> you are so right <laughs> pakistan is failing guys this is your neighbor do you understand what an unstable, you know, unstable country on your borders, what a failed state on your border is going to do to your country? You're going to be, you should, instead of being the enemy of Pakistan, you should be like rushing into their aid right now. You have no idea how problematic this is going to be. So the, after Pakistan, the main people who want to see the success of Pakistan right now is every single neighbor of Pakistan, especially India especially india yeah 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 yeah. and pa pakistan patriot force is saying armin we aren't all extreme i promise we Didn't would never that. we would never would say that never all pakistanis say that. are extremists I would that, never is, say that. that is something i, I would, firmly <laughs> disagree i never with. use the word i never mm -hmm. use the word all in fact i think that the secular activists and the atheists and even the liberal Muslims who live in Pakistan, I salute to you. And I don't know. Yeah, you guys are on the front lines. Uh, you guys are in places where I don't, can't even imagine being. And my sympathies and best wishes. And I try, we try here to be your voices, okay? Pakistani atheists, Pakistani liberals, Pakistani secular activists, and even moderate Muslims, liberals in Pakistan, we here are trying our best to shine a light on what's happening in Pakistan and let us know if there's anything else we can do. Everyone in the right. chat, give a salute. Oh, Cause yeah. they're in the trenches. Yeah. Yeah. So Sasan is saying, uh, I've seen Armin many times and he is not a collectivist. Yes. I would not claim that. If he ever part. says a collective statement, that's how you know he's joking actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might have, uh, to be fair, so uh, Harris is trying to, uh, saying, defending me, saying army never uses all. I mean, I do want to say never. It might have slipped, um, but hopefully the chat has caught me if I ever said all. In fact, he spends most of his time telling care careless people like me to add majority or most in the interest of being accurate. Oh, Harris, that's so sweet. That's such a great compliment. This made me, thank you, Harris. And we um, have awesome the Iranian giving the salute to our Pakistani yeah. brothers and sisters. <laughs> it doesn't show on stream yet, but that guys, that square over there, that's a salute. Oh, it shows yeah. on my side. Oh, really? Okay. Um, oh yeah, we could do this. I don't know how to do this. I don't, I don't know. Ah, fuck, I can't do it. Never mind. All right. You can't do this <laughs> box symbol. Is that good enough? It's good enough. <laughs> okay. Make your thumb straighter. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.